Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to configure the QNAP drive for a Defender 1200 UPS. So let's go and do that. So first thing to do is click, double click on the QFinder icon for QNAP drive. Load mode. It's a TS212 device. It's basically a Soho device. Okay, uh, I won't worry about emails for now. So first thing we want to do is log in. Let's do that. Log into the QNAP. Let that load. And cut this one out. Okay, so what we'll do is come over here, log in. Yep, I'll we'll do that. And this will take us to the main desktop on the QNAP drive. So this is on the main desktop. Okay, so the first thing we do is go over to control panel. So let's go to control panel, click on him. All right, and we can make that a bit larger so you can see it if you like. Okay, then go and find along this first top row here, the external devices. So you can click on that. There we go. Okay, and we want to configure this thing for UPS. All right. So all we do on a QNAP, once we plug the USB cable in, it only really gives you the option for this. So I've clicked on this, and as you can see, um, it will, I've configured it so it'll run for five minutes before doing a safe shutdown. And you can see down the bottom here that the UPS is running normal from the power as 100% battery. Now what I'll do is I'll just disconnect the mains from the input to the UPS so you can see what happens. If I do that, all right, it'll pretty well detect that the batteries, that the mains power has been disconnected. So the input power is now abnormal and you're on full battery backup capacity backing up the NAS drive. So the NAS drive right now is running off the PowerShield UPS on, in battery mode. So I'll just plug that back in. Now we're back on AC power. And you can see you've got the system event log here which is telling me what's happening. And if you want to go and see more information, we can go back to the main, come back here, and we can go back to uh, general settings. Actually, we'll hop out of that. And we'll go back to main control panel. And you can look at system logs. And that will tell you what actually happened during that little test we just did. All right. So I'll go there. So you can see here that when I disconnected the cable, the, the power, um, essentially the Defender 1200 reported to the QNAP that he's on battery. And the QNAP's logged it. And he knows he was going to give me five minutes before he performed a safe shutdown. And then when I plugged, that was that. Um, 1641 and then at 1642 I connected the AC power back and you can see here power has been returned to the UPS. So that's really all you need to know. So I can click out of that and you can go and play as to your heart's content with your QNAP drive. Uh, for example I can go and watch a movie if I want to do that and I might go and find for example, whatever this was here, open the VLC, run this program, and that was the video. This is a video that's actually on uh, the QNAP drive and I can go watch my movies and I don't have to worry if I lose power because the UPS is going to back up the, net, the QNAP nose drive. Thanks for watching this video demo.